According to a survey held in Israel, about 70% of Jews in this country believe that the ultra-Orthodox Haredi sector should and must serve in the IDF. Currently, the sector is often exempt from serving, allowing members of it to study and practice Judaism instead. While some believe that the study of Torah is too a contribution to Israel's future and to Israeli society, most people view the situation as undemocratic and unequal, seeing as enlisting in the Israeli military is mandatory by law for most citizens. Findings from the recent poll demonstrate, however, that about half of the Israeli public agrees that a compromise is the only suitable approach to influence Haredi men to serve in the military or in national civil service instead. The Haredi sector has been criticized in the media for some time now, with topics such as religious coercion and gender segregation often in the headlines. Though this sector is undergoing change, it is believed that enforcing integration into the IDF, among other ways of secular Israeli life, would stir chaos and commotion in Israel. And while the majority of the Israeli public does wish for such steps to take place, some oppose a mandatory draft for the ultra-Orthodox, claiming that military service should not be enforced upon anyone if it goes against their beliefs. Apparently, real change is an education and may take years. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu vowed to form a new and egalitarian law that will replace the Tal law, which has thus far provided a legal framework for ultra-Orthodox men to be released from military service. In February this year, the Israeli High Court of Justice ruled that the Tal law is unconstitutional. Netanyahu says the new law he'll bring forth to the Israeli parliament would more fairly divide the burden among all Israeli citizens, Arab and Jewish alike. For JN1, I'm Sivan Raviv. Israel.